The Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update is now finally here. But are you worried about updating your current worlds to the new update? I'm Owen from Shockbite, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to safely update your existing Minecraft worlds to the new Minecraft update. The new update has loads of new features with new biomes, mobs and blocks, so it's really important to make a backup before updating. Making a backup of your worlds before updating them ensures that if there are any issues, your world is safe, or if you just decide you want to go back to a previous version of your world, you're able to do so easily. On Java, to make a backup of your Minecraft world, open up the game. From the main menu, click Single Player, then select the world you want to back up, then click Edit at the bottom of the page. You can open the folder where your backups will be saved by clicking Open Backups Folder. Then back from the menu, click Make a Backup to make a backup of your world. This will be saved to the backups folder that is located in your .minecraft folder. It is also really easy to make a backup of your world on Bedrock Edition of the game. Open the game and on the main menu, click Play. Find the world that you want to make the backup for and select the pencil icon next to it to edit the world settings. Scroll down to the bottom and select either Copy World, which will create a copy of the world you can select from the in-game world list, or export world and choose a place to export the file to. I'm going to just export a backup to my desktop. Once you have backed up your world, to update it on Bedrock, simply open the world, as Bedrock automatically updates to the latest version. But on Java, you'll need to load a new version of the game from the launcher. Then, when you open the world, it will update to that version. It also comes up with the options to either make a backup or you know what you're doing. You can make an extra backup if you want to be super safe or just select you know what you're doing as we've already made a backup and then the world will be updated. That is it. You can now enjoy playing in the new updates without having to worry if your world is broken and have a nice timestamp save in your world's history if you ever want to revisit it. If you did find this video useful, then make sure to subscribe and most importantly, enjoy the new update.